Hi right, guys, so um, it's just before assembly now, it's the final uh, preparation and you've got your, your, your crankcases, they're all clean, everything's been cleaned up and you've got this nagging doubt in your, in your mind because you've touched some of the bearings, and we're presuming that you haven't um, replaced all the bearings. You might have replaced the, the main bearings, but you've left all the others in place. But, uh, quite likely, you know, there's no law that says you have to change all the bearings. If you have done, then well done. But you know, you've left the, the you, you haven't, okay? And you've gone in and you've tried them, and there's a grittiness. You know, and there always is, as you turn them, and you, you know, you say, well, what the hell can I do? I've washed off, and everything. So, you know, you you can do what most people do, which is just go ahead and assemble, and uh, let it sort itself out, you know, any particles get ground down and everything. Um, but, there is a solution, and, um, what you need to do, when it's all nice and clean, and it's ready to be bagged up, literally to be taken out for assembly. Yeah, the, um, the washing off bath comes into play again. But this time, you know, you're going to need to put in, um, yeah, you know, sufficient uh, paraffin to uh, immerse the bearings. And uh, if we look, I've done, I've done this one. Okay. And um, let me just take this in case it comes out. I don't know you can, yeah, you can just see in the, in the bottom, all that, the heavy stuff that's dropped out, there's some glinting, I can see um, glinting, there's bits of, um, there's still bits of metal in there. And um, the reason is, the reason that's the case is because the metal from the old bearings, it just gets, it gets sat there, particularly in the needle uh, bearings. And if you tested them, those are the ones that probably gave you the most, uh, the fright. As you uh, rotate them, you stick your finger in, and it goes. <laughs> okay. We know. So you've got to get it in, uh, in immersed in the paraffin. I mean, you're not going to lose that paraffin. You know, it's going to um, clarify. The, everything should be pretty clean anyway. It should be should be spotless anyway. So it doesn't even send the paraffin um, dirty. You know, you the heavy bits are going to drop to the bottom anyway, and um, and the liquid is clean. But you can get it in and start moving moving the um, it around in the in, in in the paraffin to loosen things off. You then really need a compressor and a blowing off gun because you need to be able to get the compressor. Particularly on the needle bearing, um, these are the, the the big bearings are easy to to blast out. You know, you blast out, and then you put it back in. You know, you drain off first because it's going to go everywhere. You know, try and get some a big rag behind it um, so you can blast through into the rag to to trap uh, stuff. But it's your needle bearing because the needle bearing. It's tiny, and any metal filings that accum they accumulate within the needle bearing itself, and there's no real place to to get it out. I mean, if you look, there you can see the needle bearing. There's no way for the metal filings to self evacuate. You know. You just sort of get lodged there in the edges, and then after you've washed it out a bit, all the metal filings then sit around the bearing. 
So, um, yeah, you know, you need to... Um, so, you know, you need a blowing off gun and um, get it spinning. I don't know if you can see that spinning. Yeah, you can, you can see it spinning. All right. And as, when it's, because it's it's got paraffin all around it, so as you as you blast through, it takes all the particles out, and there is space in the in the bearings. If you look, there, you'll see that there is space, so you can blast it out, and then put it back in, and um, and do the same, and blast out until, you know, you've got it. You, you you've got it clear. And um, everything's clear and rotates without without gripping. And um, then you know you can dry off with your nice absorbent cotton shirt, and um, and then bag up. You know, get a bin bag or something. You know, and uh, so that's it completely. A fresh bin bag that's left the factory, you know, open it up, pop it in, and it's completely, um, it's completely safe then, from everything, from dust and everything, and then, you, you know, you're only going to bring it out when you, when you assemble. So, um, what I'm going to do, is what I always do, is I'll, I'll take, um, take a rag, and um, just simply... Simply wipe that. So all the metal filings, you can see, all the metal filings are now out, it's completely clean. And um, ready for the um, ready for the second half, which is uh, which is here. And this half, this half has got the needle bearing with the clutch lever. So lots of places for dirt to um, uh, accumulate there. So this one, I've left this one till till last, and you know I'll be um, scooping up paraffin and pouring it through, and just getting any particles moving, then blasting out, and then repeating. And I'll do that until yeah, until I feel it's um, it's clean. You know, I'll test it and spin it out, and and um, you know I'm sick. Of when I'm sick of doing it, then you know, that's 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 it. All right, you know I'm going to finish off the second one. Yeah, okay, so that's the that's second half done. Um, yeah, and take note that the um, that the balance shaft bearing is in a blind hole, so therefore lots of places for um, metal filings to sit in that cavity. So um, you know. What you can do is you can actually literally pour the paraffin down the the, the center of the of the hull and fill it up and then tip it out and do the same and then when you're blasting out put the um, the air jet down you know around the outside and in the inside and just get it all blasting out. And you may feel, you know, you may even feel, if you test it, you may feel a bit of grit, you know, and um, just keep doing it because, as I say, it's blind hurl, you know, so therefore, definitely there's, there's crud that's going to sit in that blind hurl. Um, but yeah, it's all, all done. Got a bin bag, you know, got the other one bagged up, and, uh, and you know. Same's gonna go for that one. I put, by the way, I put a bit of oil, put a little drop of oil in each bearing, 
you know, because there's no there's no dirt in the bin bag, so it's just sat in oil and I've spun them round so they're you know they're like that. <laughs> okay, great. I'm good with that. See you later, guys.